Hi guys, this came in the post today. <laughs> Look how big this box is, it's absolutely insane. Like what the hell, I'm using this box of storage. So what we have in here is the new Circus Tent palette by Lorac Pro. Oh my God, it's so big, I can't even hold it with one hand. Very excited and it's very sentimental to me guys. You know that I've like worked my ass off this year. And it actually came with an envelope with a ticket on it, which is absolutely so cute. I'm definitely gonna keep this. It's so sentimental to me, like ah. And then we have a little sheet about the palette. I was kindly gifted this by Lorac Pro. I'll be proud of me. <laughs> So this is the circus tent right here. Really, really nice packaging. The actual circus tent font is like holographic, rainbowy. Love that to death. It's cruelty free, which is absolutely amazing as well. So this is what it looks like. Opening the palette. Obviously I've used it today to create this green eye makeup, but this is what the palette looks like. Looks absolutely amazing. I love how they set it out. I'm a very OCD person, so I do like it when there's like a colour scheme going on rather than just chucked colours in a palette. These swatches from the palette, I actually did them um, in two arms just so you can see the colours like the greens, blues and purples and then the oranges, pinks and reds on this side. They do swatch really really nice, some of them are more dry than others but that's just because they're mattes and stuff. I don't think, I don't, I don't base my judgement on the um, swatches though just because if something's too ridiculously pigmented Sometimes it doesn't blend out, and that's my thoughts on that. I'd rather something, but I don't know why I'm talking like this, so I can say <laughs> swatches. I'd rather something swatch horribly. Well, I'm not saying these do, but I'd rather something swatch horribly and blend amazing on the eyes. I don't care how you go like this and it looks. I care how it works on your eyes because that's where you're putting it. I have a discount code for this palette and the rest of Lorac Pro products. So it is blend by hand, all in caps. I'll put it on the screen here. So you can save 25% off any of their products. So you'd be saving £10 on this if you decided to get it. It's just so lovely to look at. I know what you guys are thinking though. I will mention the fact of it does look similar layout to the Be Perfect one. If I were making a rainbow eyeshadow palette, I would put them in like the order of like these kind of things, like they do the same kind of order, but at the end of the day, this one's not got that many neutrals and this is like a colourful like circus tent. This is a colourful eyeshadow palette, this has got more colours in it. Um, I think the main similar similarities would be the whole how it's set out, but <laughs> I would set this out like this, if that makes any sense. Like, I would go from yellow to orange to pink, just because it looks more satisfying. And it's just the highlighters that people are saying it's a little bit similar. But if you actually look at the colours, there's not that many colours that are actually that similar in there. There's a couple, but to be honest with you guys, it's a rainbow eyeshadow palette at the end of the day. They're going to have every single colour in the rainbow. Do you know what I mean? Like it is a rainbow eyeshadow palette. So if you do have the extra large pro palette, it is worth checking this one out as well. If you are a colour lover, you will love this. And you can see on my eyes how it's blended out and stuff. But yeah, if you want to save £10 on this, you can obviously use my discount code, which is blend by hand all in caps. You don't have to use it, but it saves you £10. So I'm going to start off with the colour Dragon, which is this one right here. The Similar kickback to most of my eyeshadows. So I've never tried this palette before. This is my first impressions. Very pigmented, but I think I just need to pick up a tiny bit less probably so there's less kickback. So when this colour goes actually on my eye, I was expecting it to be a little bit darker than this, but I didn't want it to be too dark anyways. And there's a black in the palette if you want to deepen it any colourful colours. So I'm going to focus this on the outer third of the eye. I'm going to go for a more like smoky effect today. I feel like there's always different techniques to like eye makeup and stuff. But so far so good. So I'm going to take the colour money dollar sign, that one right there. So there's kickback but there's not ridiculous kickback like if I show you, if you can see. There's not a ridiculous kickback. I'm just blending that out like 50-50. It is a very yellowy um, green, but I like that. So I'm just going to build this up all around it. So first I'm just going to buff out the edges with this colour and then I'm going to take it higher. Oh, I do love that colour though. So then I'm going to take this all the way up here as well. So I've got concealer all the way up here. These eyeshadows are not patchy whatsoever. Um, I'm very, very, very picky with my eyeshadows. 
if it's not good, I'll literally, I'll just stop using it. I'll be like, nah. So, and I want to make sure I really buff this part out here because I want it to make sure it's a little bit lighter there. I think I took it out a little bit too far. I'm just used to taking it out that far. I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to take the colour Fun House, which is that green right there, just to make sure that these are blended into each other. I'm just going to go in between those two colours now. Just because I'm really OCD and I like to like have a nice perfect blend. Smudge those two colours back in together. Yeah, that looks ten times better now. And take that Fun House colour and just tap it on that part there as well, just in the middle, just so that's really, really smoked out there. Then I'm going to take the darkest colour called Dragon, the one we started off with. Let's make it a little bit darker again because when we add the lighter colours it takes the darkness away a little bit. A white, and wipe all this underneath here. Oh, it's messy me do eyeshadow, but I'm like, oh, I don't like the under bit. I'm like, oh, get rid of that. I can blend that in with concealer. I don't really wipe it all underneath, but I make sure like all that's gone underneath there because then it looks more come together. So now I'm going to take my concealer, the eye base, and put a little bit on my eyelid, and then I'm going to take a flat brush. And this is where I'm just mapping it out a little bit where I want to put the shimmery colour. So this is not like a full cut crease, this is more of a softer cut crease. I'm going to take the colour called Insane, which is that really nice icy blue kind of colour. Just pop it right onto, oh that looks lovely doesn't it? The, you get most of the pigment on the bottom part of your lid and then it just like fades out. Oh my god, I love this. I'm going to do my usual <laughs> smoky liner trick. So I'm going to take the black from the palette called Top Hat. I'm not going to show you what the black looks like because it's just a black eyeshadow guys. <laughs> I'm just going to go back and forth, the black to the test of the palette, back and forth, just all of the, oh my god that black is very pigmented, look at that. And a little bit more up in the out corner. This is where I'm going to take the colour Dragon, the darkest green, and the Morphe M506 brush and just buff that out. Just blending that black eyeshadow out into the wing. I love it, but I'm like, mmm, I need my whole face on. <laughs> right, so I'm going to pop it on the low lash and then buff that in. And then kind of drag it back in. There. Hint of Mint by P. Louise, and I want to put it in the waterline. Yeah, it matches the eye, doesn't it? Like the lid colour, and then a little bit underneath as well. Just as an eye base, you can just go back and forth, just buff that out with that lightest colour first. You can see it's already got a base there, but we're going to go a little bit more smoky underneath. So I'm going to take the colour Dragon underneath, just in the outer corner there. I'm going to use Fun House, which is that medium green colour, and the Morphe M506 brush and buff that in. And then lastly, I'm going to take Money. And just buff all underneath that and then see if I need to add a little bit more darkness. And I'm just going to pop some lashes on. I got these sent in the mail the other day. Um, the post, why am I American? I've got the style Ruby and Robin. <gasps> yeah, they look really nice. I'm going to wear these lashes and then I'll be back. Probably should have been like a rainbow eye because it's a circus um, palette, but. I definitely like the look. It's not one of my favourite looks so I don't know what's what we're with today. Do you mean just do a wig when you're just like I'm just having a creative block at the moment. Um I've ended up doing quite a summery look. <laughs> I don't know why. My thoughts on this palette of what the colours I've used so far. Definitely really nice and pigmented, not too pigmented to where it's hard to blend out. Um, I do really like the colours I've used today, but I definitely want to do a rainbow look with this. I'll probably do a, a rainbow look with this literally after this video because I'm just thinking, oh my God, I need to play with the colours again. I just feel like I should have played with different colours. Palette retails for £40. Um, Lara Pro actually has a discount code, blend by hand, 25% off, so it's actually £30 for my, my code. Oh, I can't even do this, what is so weird? I just love colour, you guys know I absolutely love colour. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching 
If you're not already subscribed, go subscribe down below. It's just the red button, it's free. Um, so yeah, if you watch my videos and you're not already subscribed, you know what to do. And I shall see you guys in my next one. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.